the fear of something new. It's myorganized.life live January 13th, 2020. Back in the studio, it's Monday afternoon. Monday. We're yes, having a good time today. Good start to the week. Yep. Yes, of course. and uh, welcome folks to MyOrganized.Life Live. I'm John Hunt. And I'm Leanne Thompson. This is the show where we give you organizing tips, advice, and help you overcome your fears. Yes. Because it's that time of year. People are maybe they have goals Starting to do new things. things they're, they're, or trying different yeah. things. And, and people get sometimes a little fearful of that. Yes, fearful, fearful and frustrated and yeah. then they stop because yeah, they don't they're... maybe do their goal because it would require require something new right and uh so we are going to today hear from deb lee we did a podcast uh we've done many with deb lee yes. but this was back a while if you go to smeed.com slash podcast and scroll all the way down to number 155 yep. The show is actually a two-part show called To App or Not To App. You yes, know, because, meaning apps on your phone. Yeah, because she's the app queen. She is the queen of the apps. But we kind of talked about, you know, this applies to apps, but it applies to anything you want to try to take on new. I mean, you know, like maybe it's the new weather app or maybe it's, uh, you know, a new planner that you have. And, well, how do, am I going to use it? Am, yeah, is this it doesn't even have to be me? like an app. It could be yeah, anything. just in life or, you know, yes, like... Yes. Something Are you going to try anything new this year? No, I don't know. I hadn't really thought about it. Yeah. Are you? Are you fearful of anything for this year? No, not really. Yes. Are you? Maybe. No. Oh. Uh, well, you know, here at work we have a new boss. Well, and, that's you know, true. We have, we have new the, new systems. We have new systems. New I'm systems. not fearful of it. I'm actually kind of excited yeah, about it. Yeah, it'll it'll be a. It's going to be fun. A challenge to. And if try it gets to too complicated, we're going to bring him on the show to yep. explain this. Right. Because I think he really does want to get on the show at okay. some point. Okay. But uh, we'll see. But we asked Deb Lee, okay, what is this fear of the unknown and and how do people deal with it? Right. So uh, here she is. Sometimes it's, it's fear of doing something new. So hmm. we know there's something wrong and we know we have to fix that something. But that would involve some effort. <laughs> uh, so if it is a new app or a new system or a new planner, a new type of planner or book or calendar system, you have to learn it. You have to see if it fits with your brain and your workflow, as it were. And in order to do that, you have to give it time. Right. And I don't mean one day or one hour. I mean, really a good old college try. Mm. Three months, you know, six weeks. Really try to use it, insert it in your day-to-day -day life to see if it works, that takes time right? and it takes commitment. And so there's that fear of, oh gosh, you gotta learn something new. Right. I'll just stick with what I'm doing, I'll figure it out. And then we, we don't go any further. So I, I'd say fear of the unknown or learning something new often stops people from taking that next step. And sometimes it's, I don't even know what's not working. Right. I, I know it's not working because I feel it's not working and I know the end result I get sometimes isn't great, but I'm not quite sure where to start. I don't know how to get from point A to point B. Right. And so those are some of, the, I think, the more common things I hear from people. Right. All right. There you go. Give uh, it a try. Give it a try. So try these new systems that are in place yes. that we're yeah, going to. Don't worry. There's nothing to fear but fear itself. That's right. Who was that? Teddy Roosevelt or I think somebody so. like that? I think so. Or maybe Winston Churchill. I don't know. I mean, I don't know. But it is a good, it is a good thing. You should not be fearful. This is the right time of year to get going on. Maybe that one thing you know is going to help uh, improve your life or your work. And stick with it for a while. That's right. To make until you make a final determination if you'd like it or not. Great. And speaking of something new, tomorrow. Tomorrow, brand new show. And Wednesday we'll have a brand new show and yep. a podcast. Thursday we'll have a brand new show. Speaking of podcasts, did you know that? Um, and you do know this because I texted you about it you over Christmas, have. over Christmas break. Um, you can ask Alexa to play our podcast, and she will. Oh. Here, demonstrate that for us. We don't have one here. Alexa, here. play Keeping You Organized podcast. And then it just plays it, huh? Yep. Cool. So for those of you who have Alexa at home or at your office, try that right now. Right now. It Say it. Maybe she in, even picked up my well, voice. It has to be in, doesn't it have to be in your own voice? Don't you program it or... Can I think, anybody no, say that? Anyone can say Alexa. Let's just do it right now. Hey, Alexa, play the Keeping You Organized podcast now. There you go. Hey, maybe if it worked, put Keeping it in the Keeping organized podcast yes. by Smeed. Yes, and then, very good. Then you'll, your voice will pop then you up. you got it. Okay, well, we'll be back tomorrow for another great new show. We're not fearful of it at all. I think it's going to be great. So it's 2 p.m. Central, 3 Eastern, noon Pacific right here. MyOrganized.life live. 
Get organized now at myorganize.life. Need to turn those piles into files? We've got you covered. Hundreds of organizing products in a dazzling array of colors and sizes. There's an organizing solution for you. Shop online and they're delivered right to your office. Get organized now. Go to myorganize.life. That's myorganize.life. Get organized now at myorganize.life.